Hi guys, it's, it's Kishi here. We're gonna be checking out the battle system for Tokyo Twilight Ghost Hunters. So first of all, you should know that you can only equip your equipment in the locker. You cannot do this before battle. So you have to set up your traps and everything right prop beforehand. And note to yourself that you can get weapons through training with your colleague. So sometimes you get items or weapons. And you can also get weapons from here. The convenience store. You shouldn't buy the weapons here, they suck. But, uh, but if you buy a lot from here, that you get raffles. And so these raffles, sometimes you might get lucky. And you might get a charm or a, gr a great weapon. Here, oh, we get a charm. Well, and so in this game, you know, money is not really important. So you're best off using on. traps or or spending it on meaningless stuff in the store so you get raffles so we're gonna accept a mission So here you can um, put down traps. So let's see. You want to go near where the red spots are. That's where more, most likely the ghost is going to be. And EMF scanners detect where the where the ghosts can be. Like if they land on that on that green 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 spot, you'll be alerted. So you want to make sure you're around the red the red tra red spot, the red X X shaped. Okay, this is where you can equip your charms. So let's see. Okay, 
So we were lucky that time. The guy, the the main target just landed on that area. So we know where he is. We can go on the on onslaught. The, the blue area, area the enemy is showing is the places he can move. You're lucky he's still in range. And if he went out, outside of the shadow area, um, we might not be able to know where he's going to go next. Unless he have a special skill. Like Eagle Eye. Okay, now I'm gonna. Uh, the bet. The best thing you can do is um. Go where he is right now. So the spot where he is right now. He's gonna. He's gonna always move. He's not gonna always. He's not gonna stay there. So you want to cover the most area you can go. Your partners are don't have much uh, ability points to move, so really you, got, you have to do your most damage with your main character because he completely increases intelligence. Now after you level up, you get five points, and you can use that on intelligence, which increases ability ability points. The ability points is how much you can move. Uh, your your partners don't you don't you don't control how control where their points go to. So okay here. So you see uh, all your teammates, you can gain skills from them. The more you train with them on the whiteboard, the more the skills you have to choose from. So I highly recommend in your first playthrough to get every single character. So you can set yourself up well for the obvious second playthrough. Uh, I'll show you some of the skills I have. Uh, bond of friendship may retain HP when critically hit. Attack up. Collection item chance up. And negative ion effect. That I highly suggest you get Kuki. Uh, he's a male character. And he has the special skill called Eagle Eye, which uh, during the start of a round, you can see all the ghosts' location. So you can immediately start going to the direction of the main enemy. <laughs> 